you've got a clutter challenge. You can see it visible in at least three rooms of your home and you've lived with it like that for at least three years. And now you're having to live with it while you're in self-isolation or lockdown. It's not comfortable, is it? I should know. I had a clutter challenge and was a borderline hoarder until I managed to clear my clutter back in 2001. You've probably tried to ignore the clutter for a while, just like I did. But you can't ignore it anymore, can you? Lockdown won't let you. It's overwhelming. You feel out of control, but you just don't know where to start. Or maybe you've already tried to have a blitz on your clutter while you've been on lockdown and found that you failed to clear anything. You thought this would be the perfect time to jump in the deep end and deal with your clutter challenge but the truth is, if you try to clear your clutter, whether it's lockdown or normal time, you could end up with more problems later on. A blitz just doesn't work. Because I'm sure you've tried blitzes in the past to deal with your clutter challenge. You've probably tried storage solutions. You've probably uh, created endless piles and then piled, uh, moved the piles from corner to corner, room to room. That's what every normal clutterholic has tried. You've decided to be ruthless. You decided to spend a day or a week uh, or a weekend going through your clutter, maybe even with friends and family helping, and you found that you ended up mentally, physically and emotionally exhausted. You probably gave up and walked away to leave it for another day. We can get away from it usually. We can leave our homes and leave the clutter behind. And you might have thought that lockdown would be perfect timing to have another blitz on your clutter. Maybe we'll get a different result this time. Well, guess what? We're not gonna be able to walk away from a failed blitz while we're on lockdown. Whether that's mentally, emotionally, or particularly physically, we can't walk away from the clutter. And the consequences of you having a, a blitz during lockdown might actually negatively impact both you and other people. If you try to deal with big and bulky clutter during lockdown, if you have a trip because of the clutter, and it can only be a, a tiny trip, maybe twisting an ankle, and that needs uh, checking out and binding up, we don't want to take a doctor or an ambulance away from somebody who's got the virus. Um, we don't want to have to uh, have treatment uh, when in fact we're not considered a priority. It could cause our stress levels and our depression levels and our anxiety levels to go sky high uh, because we, when we try to have a blitz, we just feel more overwhelmed. And it's not so easy to call on a therapist or a counselor to talk it out. If you have a blitz during lockdown and you get stressed, overwhelmed or want to give up, you can't just walk out of your home and get away from it for the rest of the day like you might otherwise be able to. So we need to take our clutter clearing much, much slower during lockdown, much, much slower than we normally would. We need to approach it in a very careful way. We need to work on our clutter in an organised way so that we feel that we are doing something positive towards dealing with it. We know none of the big stuff can be dealt with because we can't get it out of our home as easily as we would in normal times. Charity shops aren't open. They're not coming to collect things. And we don't necessarily want to put uh, things in landfill. We want to be able to donate them to charity shops. So... During lockdown, we can actually start on smaller, more manageable stuff that we can get out of our home uh, and, and to be put to good use. Whether you've already tried to clear your clutter or you're thinking about trying to clear some clutter while you're on lockdown, I can help you get started if you're willing to be kind, patient and compassionate to yourself. 
My seven day getting started challenge is for anyone who needs a little bit of help getting used to this new world we're living in and incorporating doing some clutter clearing during their time on lockdown. You're not going to spend all day every day doing your clutter clearing. We're not having a blitz, remember, a little and often. So if you can watch videos online, just like you're watching this one, so I suspect the answer is yes, uh, then you can complete this getting started challenge. If you know how to type comments online below videos uh, and you're willing to share your situation and your challenges with others uh, and get a little bit of uh, positive uh, support and understanding from them, then you can do the getting started challenge. If you're willing and able to do a few simple exercises that I'll talk you through in the online videos and that you can do while you're sitting down, we're not going to put ourselves at risks of a trip or a fall, then you can do the getting started challenge. If you've got any paperwork clutter amongst your clutter, I suspect you have, every clutterholic I've ever worked with does have paperwork clutter, then I'll show you and talk you through how to do a clutter clearing session and make decisions on your paperwork clutter. If you want to get out of lockdown with a little bit less paperwork clutter and a lot more confidence and belief that you can clear your clutter, even when you go, uh, can't go outside, then let me help you on the Getting Started Challenge. I'll help you find, create and adjust to this new normal uh, that we have in lockdown in which we can still make time to start our clutter clearing journey and clear some clutter. Change isn't always easy and it's okay to say that you need a bit of help making that change. So this seven day getting started challenge is designed to help you create your new normal and to help start you, uh, to help you to start turning that new normal into action with a little bit of clutter clearing thrown in as well. Whether it takes you seven days or seven weeks to complete the journey, the, the journey, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you try. We're all here to help and support you. Others who are on the Getting Started Challenge will help and support you. You can get the support, the motivation and the inspiration that you need to succeed. Everything that I share with you on the Getting Started Challenge are things that I have done and that I am doing myself. Even though I've been completely clutter free since 2001, just like you, I'm having to adapt to the new world that we're living in at the moment. I've no doubt that my new normal will continue to tweak and adapt over the coming weeks, just like all of ours will. Nothing is ever perfect first time. Nobody tells you that, do they? And it's okay that we don't do things perfectly first time. You'll be able to watch and re-watch the videos on the Getting Started Challenge. The important thing is that we start somewhere and make some time to at least try. This seven day Getting Started Challenge will help you find your starting point for what will be your new normal so that you can start to build in a little bit of clutter clearing and start to clear your paperwork backlog clutter despite the lockdown. So if you're ready to spend a little time each day watching the daily videos and doing the daily exercises, then great, let's get started. All you need to do is click on the button below. I'll see you in the first video and we'll do this together. You no longer have to figure it out yourself. Let me show you and guide you and advise you so that you can succeed. Click on that button below and I'll see you in the first video.